Hello, Eve again for Darva Music Productions and welcome to my review of the Chromophone from Applied Acoustic Systems. What is Chromophone? Well, Chromophone is an intriguing instrument to say the least. Like the other virtual synths from AAS, Chromophone is based on physical modeling technology. It basically reproduces acoustic instruments that generate sounds when being struck by a mallet. Instruments like xylophones, marimbas, vibraphones, glockenspiels, and others. They kind of look similar, but the tonal differences are due to the type of materials used for the actual mallet and the surface being struck. A variety of overtones are then generated and that gives the instrument its distinctive sound. Chromophone can reproduce that concept very well, but it can also break sonic barriers and create some very unusual textures. To illustrate this, I'll explain how this plugin works by looking into the various modules and how they relate to each other. Okay, so here we are, Chromophone, that's the main interface. And let me show you uh, how we um, navigate through some presets and stuff. So you can go here at the Manage uh, drop-down menu. On the left hand side, you got uh, like 12 banks here uh, from uh, mallets to uh, sound effects, soundscapes, and stuff. In the middle um, area, you have the uh, actual presets or the programs that are populating the, uh, the selected bank. And uh, you got a quite of a selection here as well. And on the right hand side, if you select a preset or a patch or a program, you got the name of the patch and you got the sound designer plus you can type in some notes uh, if you want for personal use. Let me click cancel on that. <coughs> okay, so I'm gonna go briefly on the uh, signal flow here of Chromophone. Um, obviously, like anything, you can go in depth, but I'm gonna try to do a uh, very brief um, understanding of what's going on under the hood with this plugin. <coughs> so you have, um, uh, on the left-hand side, you got what I call the input device. Uh, you see here, there's a mallet and there's a, a noise generator. Those two are the actual devices that will um, activate or energize the resonator. There's two resonators as well on the right-hand side here. So um, resonator A is, um, I is composed of uh, a various amount of components. If you um, take the drop-down menu, for example, it can be a string or beam. It can be um, a tube or a plate. Same thing with uh, resonator B. Again, drop-down menu, like marimba. Anything that can be struck, basically, by a mallet is used for uh, as, a, as a surface to generate tones and stuff. So let me turn off the... Um, the generators, uh, the resonators, and let me go back to the uh, input device. Um, let's go for the mallet. <coughs> so let me bring down the volume, and if I bring this uh, fader up, you can hear what actually the mallet is. I'll turn off the, the reverb on that, so we make sure that we can hear it properly. So you can work the stiffness, you can work the, the noise, type and the color of the noise. So this uh, this is uh, the input device one. Let me turn off and turn on this uh, this one here, which is a noise generator. You got a drop down menu here as well to select if it will have no filter, if it will have a low pass, high pass, band pass, and high pass and low pass filter. Let's select the low pass for now. And uh, again, we can listen to uh, what the noise is before it uh, goes to the resonator phase. Okay, so we can alter the frequency. We can alter the Q, which is resonance, and we can alter the density. So those those two input devices, the difference is that a mallet has a very, uh, very quick decay, and the, uh, the noise generator can sustain um, I'll explain how it, it will affect, the sustain will affect uh, what, what we requ will require to create sustain and stuff. But that's the main difference between and also the, the, the properties of noise versus mallets to uh, energize the various resonators. So 
let me go back to the mallet. I'll turn off the um, the noise uh, generator. I'll bring this thing down here just so all the signal goes to the resonator. So resonator A, it's a plate. So you can alter the decay, the release, the material, and the tone of the actual plate and the hit point, which is basically where the mallet hits. If it's on the edge or in the center, you can work that out too. Um, this slider here, let's say coupled, or I will turn on the resonator B. Those two resonators can work independently, basically, that uh, they work in parallel. <coughs> so the uh, mallet input will um, trigger both resonators and they will do their own thing independently. Or you can couple them. That means that uh, resonator A gets all the energy from the, the input device and then leaks in the energy to the B resonator and that creates various overtones as well. And you can select the amount of leakage with this slider. If it's an uncoupled, uncoupled um, what happens is that you select or you can um, determine the amount of resonator A versus resonator B that you want in your mix. Um, there's various modulators. Um, again, uh, this requires a bit of synth synthesis knowledge uh, because I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. Um, if you look at some of the uh, letters here, uh, example, uh, the envelope. The envelope will, uh, meaning that this envelope, if you look at this, it's called noise envelope. This envelope will modulate the actual noise generator. And the amount of envelope required is, uh, is dialed in by clicking on the envelope parameter here and you just uh, increase or decrease with the mouse by clicking and dragging. Same thing with the velocity of your keyboard and same thing with the key. Key is the key position basically that the higher the key, the more modulation you get. The lower the key on the keyboard, the less modulation you'll get. But this is also programmable as you can invert it and vice versa. And um, on the resonator side, you also have uh, the, the uh, various parameters that are, um, there are available per different uh, uh, material, basically. Uh, let's go to open tube. And you see you got the decay release radius, etc. Every material has its own set of parameters. Here you got the vibrato and the LFO. Let me turn the LFO. LFO is another way to modulate uh, within the modulation ma matrix of the synth. So when you see LFO, for example, um, here, if I click and drag, I can increase the amount of the LFO effect on the density parameter of the noise generator. So that applies to every other modulatable um, parameters by LFO. At the last stage of the uh, process, you can add two uh, stereo effects. You got here, let me turn this one, number one, and there's a drop down menu. You can select uh, whatever is available. There's a bunch of stuff, flanger, phaser, etc. Same thing with this, turn on, and I can click and just dial in the tape delay. Um, so that's overall the, uh, overall the way it works uh, with chromophone. Obviously, a lot of uh, you know trial and error thing is is uh, is 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 possible, and you got to experiment. Let me uh, show you a couple presets just so you can hear the variety of tones you can get with Chromaphone. So I'm gonna go back to the manager, and I'm gonna go through uh, mallets, and let's go select uh, all right soft marimba. So I'm gonna play something just to show you. And now let's go to soundscape. And let's go to uh, Grain Pad. Let's listen to that. So as you can tell, there is uh, quite a variety of uh, possibilities here. Quite a, uh, quite a, um, it's quite a synth actually, and it's uh, it's it's precise and it's uh, crystalline sounding, and it's uh, I, I do like this synth. It's fun and it's it's fun to experiment with. So I'm just going to showcase you now uh, to end this lecture. Um, I'm going to play you a song by Larry Coriel, and it's a song called Good Citizen Swallow that was arranged uh, by Stuart Balcom for vibraphones. So I selected a vibe patch on chromophone, and I'll play you a, s a quick excerpt of the piece. And uh, thanks for uh, listening to my lecture, and I'll see you on the next one.
Thank you.